Hello and welcome back to my hair. This is episode two in uh, my series about attempting to strip the black hair dye out of my hair and make my way back to my former natural red-headed glory. In the last episode, I used crushed vitamin C tablets to try to strip out some of the color and my hair went from being this shade of black to this shade of blue. I've washed it several more times now and uh, as you can see, we're somewhere in between blue and green and we're also a little bit kind of yellow where my natural hair is growing through here. Now, the comments on that video unanimously screamed at me to uh, A, shave my head, B, stop touching it, don't do anything, let it grow out, and C, buy the product Color Oops. Now, I, I don't want to shave my head because as tempting as it is, I'm very impatient and I don't want to wait a year or two for it to get back to this length. So uh, option A is out. Option B, leave it alone. Um, if I do that, see my answer to option A being that I am impatient. I don't want to leave it alone. I don't want to be stuck with bluish green for months or years. So that option is out as well. So uh, this whole color oops thing sounded like a good idea because I did indeed do a big old oops two years ago when I decided to bleach my hair for the first time and became so addicted to coloring it that I just could not stop. That was my first oops. So as soon as I posted that video and all of your comments started coming through screaming at me to purchase color oops, I thought, okay, yeah, sure, I'll give it a go. So I googled it, color oops. Turns out, color oops is not a thing in Australia, and the only way that I was able to get it was purchasing it on Amazon for the humble price of 70 Australian dollars. I feel like that's my first oops of the video. Because <laughs> when I saw that price, I was like, oh, it's expensive, but everyone's been recommending it, so it must be worth it. And then while I was waiting for it to arrive, I was doing a little bit of research, you know, how do I use this product? And um, I may or may not have stumbled upon the fact that it, it literally costs $15 in America. So the video is off to a great start. So here is my $70 parcel from Amazon. They did send it to me with express shipping. So it did arrive two days after I purchased it. All right, time to see what all the fuss is about here. Look, Archie, can you believe this costs $70? May I just start off by saying I am personally offended by the packaging. The image that they chose as the big old oops is this very shocked looking lady with orange hair. She's like, oh no, I'm a ginger now. Oops, I'm gonna get bullied. People will think I have no soul. Couldn't they have put someone on the cover with like blue hair? <laughs> Wouldn't that... Look, it's a touchy subject. Most of the kids at my school didn't even know my name was Alex because they all just called me Ranger. All right, so for my $70, I got myself number two and number one and instructions. Archie, let, let me read you a story. Yeah, okay, come in nice, nice and close, nice and close. Simply wash away difficult colors, removes artificial hair color, gently removes permanent and semi-permanent hair color, takes only 20 minutes, ammonia free and bleach free, recolor the same day. Did you hear that? Should I recolor today? I don't know if you saw that, but he just, just did a giant sh I may take that as a no from the bird. This says contents one application. One application. So what this is telling me is I'm paying $70 to potentially have the bluish green removed from my hair, but potentially not. <laughs> I don't even know if this is actually going to work, but we're about to find out. Oh, here we are. Look, there's, there's more information. Hang on, I'm not done with the story. Come back. Color, oops. Extra strength is the safest and most effective way to reverse an undesirable hair color application in just 20 minutes. Color Oops corrects your hair color by shrinking the dye molecules 
allowing you to simply wash them away. Our unique formula is bleach-free and ammonia-free. Color Oops will not have the damaging effect of bleach or ammonia-based products. Color Oops is so gentle that you can recolor your hair the same day. Color Oops can also be used to remove artificial color from hair that was lightened but became off-tone. For instance, if you have naturally brown hair and use an ash blonde color and your hair is now blonde with a green tint, Color Oops will remove the green tint, but your hair will remain blonde. What would this do if I put it on your feathers? Why don't we find out? You, you don't still want this, do you? I'm just double checking. Oh, you do? Can I have it? Thank you. Right, well, I'm not going to mix these chemicals up around Archie. I'm going into another room because birds have sensitive lungs. So, oh, see you, mate. Bye, Archie. While pointing bottle away from face, remove cap on applicator bottle number two. Pour entire contents of bottle number one into applicator bottle two. Replace cap on applicator bottle two and shake well for 30 seconds. Apply liberally to areas of hair that need hair color removal or correction. Move quickly through the application as the activity of the mixture decreases with elapsed time. Be certain there is even an adequate product penetration throughout the areas of hair that color is being removed. Gently rework through for even penetration. Oh, stinky. Oh, very stinky. Okay, I know it doesn't contain bleach or ammonia, but it most definitely contains some sort of sulfur. Well, that's my whole head covered, but there's uh, something else I gotta do. If you didn't already think that I'd lost my mind, you probably think it now. No, no, I did not um, just tear my bird in half. Uh, every time he drops these, I collect them. And if you're a bird person, you know I'm not a lunatic. If you're not a bird person, think of us what you may, but we all do the same thing. We all collect our children's feathers. I think I've selected these two for my experiment because this one has a decent amount of green on it and uh, this one has a decent amount of blue. And here goes. It's all over my head. I've got to go grab my shower cap and I'm also going to grab my big vintage hair dryer that Archie's never seen before so I'm really interested to see his reaction. Bye bye. Do you see this? These are yours. You're not getting them back. But I thought I could put them in my shower cap uh, because heat helps with the development of the product. Mummy's not crazy. She's just a little unwell. Oh, do you see this? Do you know what this is? What do you think? What, what, what do you think it is, Archie? What do you think it is, audience, for those of you that don't know? <laughs> this is my vintage hair dryer. It's from, I think, the 1970s. It's quite literally the best invention since sliced bread. <laughs> I know. No, I don't. I'm not crazy. I'm not <laughs> he has no idea that this thing is about to make noises at him. Ready, Archie? You ready? Ready? Three, two, one. What? Hi! What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Archie? Archie? Are you whispering? I, I can't hear you. What? What did you say? Bye, on. Bye, on. Bye, on. Hello. 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 Hello.
Yes, hello. So seeing as I have to leave this stuff on my hair for 15 to 20 minutes, 20 minutes is the perfect amount of time to cook one of the quick and easy meals from today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a subscription meal kit that delivers easy to follow recipes and fresh pre-portioned ingredients that are ready to cook right to your front door. There's no time wasted because you don't have to hop in the car and go grocery shopping. There's no food wasted because the food is all pre-portioned into the exact quantities you need for your recipe. There's dozens of recipes to choose from each week and most take only 30 minutes and some take 20 minutes or less with their quick and easy options. There's low carb, low cal, vegetarian and pescatarian options with fully customizable portion sizes and delivery dates. You can skip a week whenever you want and best of all, HelloFresh is sustainable. Their packaging is either fully recyclable or it's made from recycled materials. If you want to give it a try, go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Look at that, literally no food wastage. I've just got the eggshells, the ends of the spring onion, the top of the chili and the shell of the garlic. And just like that, in under 20 minutes, we have ourselves a beautiful fresh lunch that I'm so excited to eat because we've had this recipe like four times and I love it. Okay, I keep <laughs> picking it every time we go to pick the recipes. We see this one and we're like, add to cart. <laughs> add to cart. Oh, double order. Mmm, so good. I love it so much. So don't forget, if you guys want to give it a try for yourself, go to hellofresh.com and use the code prettypastel16 to get 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. So with that, let's uh, finish lunch and see what's under the shower cap. What is under the shower cap? All right, so it's been 20 minutes. Time to check. If my hair is actually red again, I might actually cry. No. No, is it really? I can't tell from the viewfinder of the camera. <laughs> Wait, it looks like it's quite red, but I can't see this part. That kind of still looks blue to me, but maybe it's just the lighting. Let's look at Archie's feathers. They look exactly the same. <laughs> no surprises there. You know what, I, I always thought that maybe you were dyeing your hair, but turns out it really is all natural. There's bird food on my face. Yep. Right, so apparently the next steps are that I have to rinse my hair under warm water for 20 minutes. It even says on the instructions, yes, 20 minutes. I have to have my head under the tap for 20 minutes. I'm gonna have to put on a very good podcast. <laughs> Oh my god. Right, so I followed all the steps and uh, looks promising, right? What a difference it is at the front. That's insane. But... What do you think? <gasps> I forgot his feathers! Hang on. What are you doing? I'm just stripping the colour out of his feathers. Well, Archie, we can officially put the rumours to bed. You really are a natural green head. So apparently, according to the instruction book, uh, you can do this two to three more times, depending on how your scalp feels and depending on the condition of the hair. My hair feels exactly the same as it did before. It doesn't feel any worse. So because it feels fine uh, and there is a little bit left in the bottle, I'm going to attempt to redo it. Now it does want it to be put on dry hair so I might just quickly go dry this off and then you guys can actually have a look at what color this is when it's dry. Right well here it is. <laughs> so uh with my hair swept away like this I just about look like a Weasley but from this side hmm you know what if it wasn't so messy and inconsistent 
consistent. I would almost dig the orange to blue ombre. It's quite a nice shade of blue actually, like a pastel kind of blue, but because I do have a little bit of the product left in the bottle, I'm gonna just try to cover these last couple of blue bits and we'll see if by the end of this video I can finally be back to a ginger. And now we commence round two. This has to be on my head for 20 minutes and that is the perfect amount of time for me to film my Shein wig haul. I ordered a bunch of wigs from Shein and uh, I'm going to try them all on while I'm waiting for this to uh, set. So keep an eye out for that video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. So that way you know when I upload that one, it should be out probably next week. So I'm gonna film that and I'll be back soon to wash this second round off my head. Right, well, uh, it was a little bit over 20 minutes that I was filming that wig video for. It was about 25 or so. So this is definitely ready to be washed out. And I'm going to follow the instructions properly. I am going to rinse the hair for as close to 20 minutes as I can. So here goes. This is wild to me, wild. L look at the front of my hair. I look like Gilderoy Lockhart and yet. Now I'm a freshly caught Cornish pixie. The blue is still stubbornly hanging in there. I think, I think it's lighter. I think it might be like half a shade lighter. There is the tiniest, tiniest little bit of product left in the bottom of the bottle that I'm going to just use up because I can. Uh, but it does say here, move quickly through the application as the activity of the mixture decreases with elapsed time. So I almost feel like if there's that much left in the bottom of the bottle and it's been like an hour or whatever it is since I first mixed it, that's probably why it's not really doing anything the second time around. But I'm gonna just, yeah, should I? Yeah, okay, yep, may as well. I'm gonna empty the bottle and be done with it. Well, I guess third time's a charm because uh, that that really did the trick. It almost got out every last bit of the bluish green. There is the tiniest little bit of it left, but you know, when I sweep my hair in certain directions, you can't really notice it. And in different lighting conditions, it goes from looking green to looking kind of blonde. So, I am now ready. I'm ready. I'm not gonna leave it like this. I know that there's gonna be some comments that are gonna say, oh, you should leave the Goku hair for a while, but I don't feel like going full Super Saiyan at the moment. I just feel like going back to regular old Alex. My days as Captain Marvel are over. So the next hair dye video that you guys see of mine is going to be me dyeing my hair back to a copperish kind of red. And I am, so excited. I'll let you guys in on a secret. Um, I actually, I let my mum pick the shade of red that I'm about to dye my hair. So the video is going to be called My Mum Picks My Hair Color. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications and uh, keep an eye out for that video. It'll be up very soon because I'm, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna do it right now. The Color Oops instructions gave me permission. They said that you can indeed recolor on the same day. So I'm going to do just that. So my final thoughts of color oops. Yes, I had to pay the Australia tax and it was worth every single cent and I'd do it again. God, if I'd known about this product sooner, I probably would have done even more different colors <laughs> to my hair, which is probably not, not a good thing at all. But the only other hair color removing product I've used was uh, that colorless one, you know, this one, and fistfuls of my hair fell out after I used that. So I'm never touching that one again. But if I were to color my hair again in the future, I would definitely use color orbs. And even if I had to pay 70 bucks for it again, I'd do it. I feel like 
all of the effort of crushing the vitamin C tablets and then rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat with the clarifying shampoo over and over and over. I feel like $70 is a small price to pay to just be able to put that on and just be done with it. So if you are looking for a product that will remove your color and leave your hair feeling completely fine, I can't believe that that doesn't damage hair. Like it takes out the color like it did and it doesn't damage the hair. It's amazing. I don't understand how it works. It's obviously the power of omelette because that's exactly what it smells like, but I definitely recommend. So with that, thank you guys so much for joining me on my journey of uh, stripping away the black hair dye. Literally, this was my hair a couple of days ago. It's crazy to think that I was there and now I'm here and no bleach was involved. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!